Hey, what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have a new Artist Alley video for you. This is a part of my series. It's a part five series. Five parts to this series about my 2022 pin haul and collection. If you wanna watch the first four parts, cause this is the last part, this is part five, then you can check those out on my channel. I have a whole playlist dedicated to pin collecting. So you can check out how I got into it, all of my favorite makers and all the ones that I have featured on this channel. And you can learn a few pro tips and some tips and tricks that I have figured out over the past year. So without further ado, I have three more creators to feature on this series, which are some of my favorite Sailor Moon pin creators. So let's go ahead and get started with all of these ones that you see on my table in front of me. All of these are by the same creator. I love this creator. They go by the name Crescent Lion Art and they have a whole bunch of really beautiful series. They do their own art, which I think is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and start with one of the early, early series that I got from them. And this one, I did have to buy all of these uh, secondhand because I missed their actual sales in hand. So first we have a really cute one of Sailor Moon. It's a profile of Sailor Moon. Then we have Sailor Mercury and she of course is on her little mini computer. Sailor Mars. I really like the sandblast and all the designs in the background. Sailor Jupiter, she's a little dusty. Need to clean her up before I put her up on one of my pin display boards. Then we have Sailor Venus. Again, really cool design in the background. And Tuxedo Mask. It's really cool to see Tuxedo Mask in a pin. I don't have a lot of him. I just have a few, but I really like Crescent Lion Arts design style. These two pins are from a series called Legendary Lovers. So first we have Sailor Lead Crow and Aluminum Siren from season five, the final arc. They look so pretty together. And we also have a beautiful pin of Uranus and Neptune. I think Uranus and Neptune both look incredible in this pin. It's one of my favorites of, of those two as a couple. These next two pins are kind of single ones. They don't really come from a specific series, but this one is really beautiful of Princess Serenity. She looks amazing and I love the background. And I also grabbed this one of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion to go on my Princess and Prince board. Very romantic. Love it. These three are really cute and they feature Queen Serenity. So this is the Moon Mama, Princess Serenity's mom from the past from the Silver Millennium. She's so pretty. In this one, I really like the gradient that goes into her wings. It's very, very beautiful. This one is really pretty because it definitely shows off her eyes. That purple in her eyes is just so, so pretty. And this one is really epic because she's holding the Moonstick one, which is a huge part of Sailor Moon lore. And then we also have the Earth in the background. Again, a very cool, very interesting piece of art. And it's a character that we don't really get a lot of pins of, so I'm very happy with that. Moving on from there, I have this really cool collection called Nubu no Megami. So these are featuring characters from Sailor Moon S so far. There might be more in the future, I'm not sure yet, but we shall see. So first we have Princess Uranus and Princess Neptune, both of them with their talismans and this is very nouveau. And we also have the Witches Five. I do have Mimit as well, but she is gonna come in through a trade that I have with somebody else. So I do have these four in hand, but I will have her to join this group. They look amazing. I love these pins and I love that I have pins of the Witches Five, which is so rare. So cool though. They are some of my favorite enemies and this is my favorite season. I love Sailor Moon S. These two cute little chibi toppers come from a series called Pocket Senshi. And I just decided to get the toppers. The big pop pin is much larger than these. And I thought these would make really cute little chibi fillers. So I have these two and I'm gonna be hunting down the rest of the chibi fillers as well. I love this transformation pin. I think it's gorgeous. I do have several different kinds of transformation pins from several different makers. And I love that each of them has 
its own detailed work. Each of them has its own personality, including this one. This one has its own personality. And even though each of them are based on the same scene, you see something come through from each of the artists. And in this case, CLA, Crescent Lion Art, has really brought out the beautiful gradient in her skin tone when she's transforming. And the background is on here too. The vintage 1990s background that you see from this scene is really, really beautiful in this pin. This Eternal Sailor Mercury pin is the only Eternal Sailor Mercury pin that I own so far. I'm hoping to get more and make a big pretty board for Sailor Mercury pins, but so far, this is one of the few that I have and I think she's gorgeous. One of my most recent purchases from CLA is this beautiful and really adorable pin of Usagi. It's called Dreamy Usagi. All of these are limited edition, by the way. And I love that there's Luna in the background. I love that she has her chicken clock. And I even love that there's some glitter in the window, kind of accentuating that there are stars back there because it is in the middle of the night. It's a really cute pin and I just love it. Can't wait to see the rest of this series as well. Okay, which of these series of pins do you want to see next? How about this series? This one is called Moonlight Mirage. First we have Galaxia and these are so cool because usually you see the character popping out of the back pin, but in this case you have the character in the background with a bunch of art in front of it on the topper pin. So with this one, we have some really pretty orange roses in front of her. And then we have this amazing, amazing series of gemstones right in front of her as well. It looks so cool. This is a really nicely done pin. Similarly, here's a queen barrel one. Now with the queen barrel one, you have a similar vine up here, different colors, obviously, to match her. She also has some pearls. She has pearls on her tiara as, as well as a pearl on her earring. That's really cool, nice detailing there. And she also has her really interesting crystal ball featured there as well. Really nice. This one of Tuxedo Mask just looks so good. I love that he's holding his mask and then we have him in the background with the planet below him. This is the last one that I have from this series is Sailor Mercury. I love that she's wearing her visor, really cool. Luna's down here, adorable. And then we have her wand, her transformation wand. And there's little gemstones on her wand as well. Let's chat about the next series. This one is called Claire de la Lune. This is a profile series. So here I have Super Sailor Mercury with this really nice gradient behind her. Love all the gold for the border as well. Then we have Sailor Starfighter. Again, a really nice gradient behind her. We have Sailor and Chaos variants of Galaxia. Both of them have different backgrounds, but the same type of print. It's very interesting how the enamel color and the screen printing can totally change the design of a pin. So you basically have two different variants of the same character. Really interesting. Then I have the Anima Mates. So I have Aluminum Siren over here. Then I have Lead Crow, Tin Cat Nyanko, and Iron Mouse all of the Sailor anime mates. Isn't that cool? So now I have pins of so many villains. I'm so excited about this. Villain board is coming, coming very soon. I don't know how to say this because I can't speak Latin, but it, I think it says Revs de la Lune. Re, Revs de la Lune? Revs de la Lune? Something like that. I don't know. But this is a series of circular Sailor Moon pins. I think the earlier ones were these two. I am still missing a yellow haired variant of this one. So I'm hunting for that one, but so far I haven't found anybody selling or trading her for a decent price. So here we have a white haired Princess Serenity. I also have a classic anime version of Usagi with Luna behind her. I love that each of these has some kind of detail on the side featuring her compact or her items. Sailor Moon doing her authentic pose. There's also the transformation pen on the side. We have Sailor Moon doing her moon tiara action. Very, very pretty. Sailor Moon doing another attack. And this one features the Holy Grail on the side. Super Sailor Moon with the Crisis Moon brooch next to her. Then we have Eternal Sailor Moon. She's so beautiful. I love the wings on this one. 
really gorgeous. And of course she has the Eternal Moon article right next to her. And last for this series is this one, Transformation Moon. Again, loving the gradient of colors, especially in her hair and her pigtails going from yellow to pink. So, so pretty, really gorgeous pen. Okay, now this series is called Moon Lore. I do have several pens from the Moon Lore series and each of these is very unique. So first I have the attack sequences for Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. I love that each of them have some really pretty flowers behind them as well as their uh, talismans. So she has the mirror behind her and Sailor Uranus has the space sword behind her. And she has a little gemstone on the space sword, which is very cool. We have Sailor Moon in a regular casual outfit in the rain. I'm digging this one, it's so cute. Here's Sailor Moon in that dress that she wore uh, when Prince Demond kidnapped her. So this is from that episode. This one of Black Lady is so cool. I love how big her ribbon is. It really makes her into like a giant dinner plate size of a pin. And she also has Luna P in the background as well as some dark crystals. So cool. And lastly for the Moon Lore series is this one of Luna, which is one of my favorite Luna pins. The moon's in the background. We have some really pretty flowers behind her and there's some snowflakes. It's kind of hard to see, but there's little snowflakes all over. So this is definitely very reminiscent of the Sailor Moon S movie. I have a few more from CLA, so let me go grab those and I'll show you the rest. This is a really beautiful series and I'm super excited to be able to get access to it. These are really cool. This is from a series is called Guardians Celeste. So first I have this one of Sailor Mars with Princess Sailor Mars in front of her. There's a couple of crows behind her. I don't know which one is Phobos and which one is Deimos, but they're both back there. And then we have the planet Mars. We also have Sailor Mercury with her princess version in front of her. I also have Sailor Jupiter, really gorgeous pins. I love these. And Sailor Venus. So the four inner guardians. For the outer guardians, I have Neptune and Uranus. Both of them look really, really beautiful. Very stunning next to each other. And I have Pluto in hand. And again, I did get Sailor Saturn, so I'm just waiting for her to come in. She's so stunning. I'm so happy I have these. I love them so much. And last for the Guardian Celeste, I have Sailor Chibi Moon. She looks so cute. Okay, I have two more creators to share with you, and then I'm all done with all of my pins for 2022. Finally. <laughs> all right, we're on the home stretch now. This entire table is for Amortentia pins. Amortentia pins has made some really, really cute pins and I've collected several of her series. So I'll go ahead and start with this series from Amortentia. This is a really pretty series of each of the Sailor Guardians. First one I got in this series was Sailor Moon. She's still in the wrapper. After her, I was able to snag these two, Mercury and Mars. And I was also able to pick up Luna and Luna looks so precious. I love her, she's so cute. Another really cute series that Amortentia is doing is this Witchy series. So I have all of the inner Sailor Guardians so far of the Witchy series. So here's Sailor Moon as a witch, little chibi witch and she's so cute. This will definitely go on my Halloween board. Sailor Mars. Then we have Sailor Venus and Sailor Jupiter as cute little witches. They're so adorable. And Sailor Mercury on a pile of books, of course. How could she not be? This series is called the Masquerade series by Amortentia Pins. So I have Sailor Moon and she looks very sweet, very pretty. I also got Sailor Mercury, again, very, very pretty. We have Sailor Jupiter here. I love her dress. I love all the lace detailing in the front of her dress. It's really gorgeous. And Sailor Mars, who looks like she belongs in the Renaissance. I mean, come on, that is so pretty. She's cute. So that's a series that I'm collecting. I have two more series that I can show you. I think this is called the Hugging Planets series or something like that. So we have Venus, Mars. Next we have Mercury. I really like the, is that Sandblast or very fine glitter done in the Mercury planet and the enamel work done behind her. It's very, very pretty. Luna looking adorable. She's so cute. I also have two variants of Princess Serenity hugging the moon. So I have the blonde haired variant as well as the white haired variant. And they're both really pretty. So I'm happy that I have both of them. Amortentia Pins has also started up this really beautiful collection of large pop pins that are kind of pastel in color. 
really gorgeous. So first we have Sailor Moon here, and I love the gradient in the background. And I also just got Princess Serenity through a trade, and she looks gorgeous as well. These are some of my favorite pins. I love them. An oldie but a goodie from Amortentia Pins. This is one of their originals. Very, very early piece of art from that maker. This ramen usagi pin is just too cute. I love it. She looks so adorable. And that's definitely like what I would look like if I was eating ramen. <laughs> a beautiful pin of Sailor Moon. This is a pop pin, so it's a pin on pin. And it's relatively small, but I love this piece of art. This one is in a totally different art style than what I've seen but I really like her face. I thought it was so unique, so I had to have it. I'm excited for the rest of this series from Amortentia Pins. This is a beautiful one of Sailor Mars. I love her face and all the detail that goes into her face and all the gradients. There's a background gradient and the gradient in her long, long dress. It's just beautiful. It's a really, really pretty pin. This one is so freaking cute of Usagi and Chibi Moon. Just had to have it. What an adorable piece. And another adorable one is this one of Usagi and it looks like she's on Instagram. It's a little Usagi selfie on Insta. And look, she got 150 likes. It's so freaking cute. So that's everything from Amortentia pins. I have one more maker for you. Okay, these last few were so hard to get. These were definitely the hardest ones for me to find and they were the hardest ones for me to trade for. But I'm happy to say that I have not spent the current value market rate for any of these. I've traded for all of them and I have spent very, very low amounts of cash for these. So I'm very proud of myself for that fact. I have refused to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a pin, a single pin. And some of these I even got from the maker. So I have successfully been able to pre-order some of these, but it is very rare when it happens. So all of these were made by Astral Pins. When I first discovered them, they were already like popping off and super trending. So everybody wants these pins. They're so hard to get, but I'm very happy that I have the ones that I have. So this was the first one that I was able to snag from Astral Pins. I actually purchased this directly from the maker. And this one is a really beautiful pin of Black Lady with Helios. I really like this pen. I think it's really beautiful and I love the art. The detail that goes into Astral Pen's art is what makes it high quality. For example, even the background on this one, even though it's just black with a bunch of stars, it's still very gorgeous. And there's like little details, like there's a crescent moon back there and Helios is crying. Next is this one called Moon Meditation. This one has a very beautiful gradient behind Sailor Moon and she is in the middle of her attack. I love all the different colors. It makes it very anime style. This one, I think I traded for. I like that there's a little gemstone at the top and this is the, I think it's called like Wine Black Lady because she does have a glass of wine next to her. It's a really pretty pin. I love how she looks like she's got a little smirk on her face and I really like the border in the background. I successfully pre-ordered this one from Astral Pins and this is called Balloon Usagi. Uh, I can't say that without thinking of the balloon song because it's played on Instagram so often. There is some really pretty stained glass for the background behind her. And each of these balloons is one of the planets. So if you look really closely at the details, all of them has different colors and different textures. There's different effects that go into different ones. Like there's sand blasting up here. There's some glitter in that one. I love that each of them features something a little bit different from the previous one. Sailor Moon herself looks absolutely adorable. And this little teeny tiny Luna at the bottom is just too cute for words. The last of my singular non-series pins from Astral is this one. It's a black swan pin. This one almost has a holiday aesthetic to it. I think because of the candles and the colors and the roses down at the bottom, definitely very holiday inspired and very, very pretty. These last four are from the same series. I believe it's called the Signature series from Astral Pins. I weirdly ended up with the same character, but in three of her different versions. So I have Black Lady here. I love that she included the Japanese name as opposed to the American name. Love the gradient in her dress and this decision for flowers around her, the kind of spiky flowers. It's totally perfect for this character. It's a really gorgeous piece. 
I also have Chibi Moon and Small Lady. These two were pre-ordered as a pair. However, I missed that pre-order, so I had to find them on the aftermarket. Both of them came out really cute. Love all the strawberries around Chibi Moon and the gradient in her skirt looks really good. This choice of flowers around Small Lady is beautiful. Last but not least is one of the ones that was a huge grail for me. It's Galaxia. I love the gradient in her hair. This is the best gradient that I've seen of Galaxia's hair done in a pin. It's very, very, very nicely done. There's gemstones at the top of each of these signature series pins. And I love that there's no enamel inside the edges of this signature series. It almost looks like a tarot card. There, there's tons and tons of gold, keeps it really shiny, really, really stunning and beautiful. Galaxia looks amazing. She looks delicate, but you know that she's a badass. <laughs> okay, y'all, that is it. That was the last episode in my five part series about my 2022 pin haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I did. I loved being able to go through and review and check out all of these pins with you. I love all of these makers for different reasons. Each of them brings something really, really special to the table. And I'm so happy that I was able to share them with you. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and check out the rest of this series up there. I also have a playlist on my channel of all my Artist Alley videos and all the pin haul videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Janet.